morning and welcome back to another video on the channel. It is finally time to go drop off the AMG like we should have done a week ago, but we all remember what happened then. Yeah, got a little flat tire, but my plan for that day was to go to a shop that was gonna help me with taking my ECU out. That is not something that <laughs> I'll be trying to attempt doing myself. So I'm going to a shop here in Solianople because the car's actually being retuned. Some might remember when I went to my good friends in Miami, that was the sign works and got the car tuned, got the down pipes on there. It made some uh, pretty interesting noises. And uh, that's gonna change today. Although it is not gonna become quiet, I can tell you that much. All right, so we are in a bit of a hurry here. I'm gonna jump in the car, we gotta get to the shop. Wifey's following me in the Raptor so I can get back home. All right, we've arrived, finally. Of course, it's raining once again. So here we are at George Riggin Specialty Automotive. They are the people that are gonna be taking the ECU out. I'm waiting around here so I can send it straight back to Florida. I don't have the time to uh, drive down to Miami this time and, and back, but here's what we're doing. So everyone knows uh, what this car sounds like. Very interesting pops and I absolutely love them because it's different. Pretty much no C63 that I've heard of at least sounds that way. But those pops, I know they're unpopular with some people, others love it. On video, it doesn't do justice. It sounds like it claps more, but in real life, it sounds like an AK-47. And a lot of people pretty much think that the car it sounds that way by itself like driving 20 miles an hour and stuff. It doesn't, you have to push the car pretty hard. But here's my issue, that sound came at a price. It's a specific tuning in the, you know, the, the fuel mixture uh, that make the car sound that way. And the thing is, I miss the crackles that it gives from a stock format, if you will. Now it does have the downpipes, of course, so it's a lot louder. But with the tune that I've had, when you rev the car, you don't get the crackles that the C63s usually get and I've missed that. So to switch things up a little bit, I'm actually gonna get the car back to stock. The pops will unfortunately disappear. I wanted to have both the pops and the crackles, but that's not possible. So I'm gonna have to choose one of them. And what I'm gonna do now is retune the car. So it's of course not losing any horsepower or anything like that. It's not gonna be less loud. It's just not gonna be the AK-47 pops. We're gonna come back to the crackles. Because when I read the car, it sounds like a 204, which is kinda cool, but you don't get the crackles. And when you downshift, you don't get the crackle either. It's semi-pop. I don't know how to <laughs> explain it in words. So that's what we're doing here at George Reagan Automotive today. Now, yes, I know the car is very dirty. It's fall here, uh, you know, constant rain. But we're, of course, going to do some comparisons to what the car sounds like now and what it's going to sound like when we pick the car back up again in a few days. So this video is going to continue in a couple of days. Those are with the valves closed. They're just going to pull it in now to the shop. So it is quite the job to try to get this uh, ECU out. It is really, really tight in there. <laughs> I, I don't really know why they had to put it there, but they did. All right, I think they're getting closer and closer here. Um, <laughs> that damn ECU is in a tight spot. Fast forward, here we are, we got the ECU out. Now we gotta go to FedEx and overnight this thing to uh, Velos to Signworks and get it retuned. 
Before we do that, we'll take a quick look at this SL55 because this model right here was actually the first AMG I ever drove. But I want this done as soon as possible, so I'm gonna overnight it today and hopefully have it back on Friday. All right, so we need to go get some bubble wrap, of course, but I'm gonna keep it in here for now. Oh, let's go to FedEx. All right, so we're on our way back home here, and I think uh, pretty soon it might be time for us to do uh, some kind of owner's review update here from uh, the lady that's been driving it for almost six months now. She doesn't want to be on video currently, but we have 6,700 miles on the truck. And now it's raining again, so of course. All right, so here we are, FedEx. Time to drop this baby off. And then we're gonna resume this video on Friday. Okay, it is Friday. Welcome back to the vlog. It's pickup time for the AMG. It has been retuned. We're back at George Riggins Specialty Automotive, of course. All right, so very quick transition in the vlog here. Uh, I got stuck talking to the guys who had worked on the car and everything, and there's so much road noise around there. So I didn't really want to do the first initial startup with uh, a bunch of traffic around ruining the sound because it sounds so damn good right now. Now, I know I've mentioned that. Guess we can't get away from the planes. Now, I know that I've mentioned that the sound is going back to stock. Now, of course, the downpipes are still on there. It's still tuned. It is still as loud, but it sounds different. And it sounds like it does when the car is stock without the downpipes, meaning it has the awesome crackles when you rev it and when you downshift and that is what we have now so ladies and gentlemen the new sound of side chick here aka the beast is new for me with downpipes but it's still kind of sort of the same as it is stock Yes, sir, you still hear the turbo whine. Oh God, this is so awesome. Prior to this, us retuning the car, the car sounded like this. Still as loud, but it didn't have the crackles, and I kind of missed that. Although, with that tune, we got the amazing pops. They are now gone, and I think I can learn to live with that. Uh, because, like I said, you have to kind of push the car pretty hard to make it make those sounds. And uh, now, all you have to do is downshift. Listen to this. like the Stradman jumping in front of the camera the whole time but you guys have to apologize I know the car is probably the dirtiest it's been uh, all year but that's how it is sometimes
what do you guys think? Do you like this better or do you miss the pops? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> How can I love that? I love it. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy with the results. I do hope you guys like them as well. But let me know, like I said, in the comments below, what you guys prefer, the current tune or the previous tune with the loud pops. Uh, we got minor, minor little tunnel action here. Minor. <laughs> I know I'm childish, but I just, I love this sound. It is so addictive. What AMG has done, or how they managed to do it, I don't know, but for a twin turbocharged V8, man, it sounds amazing. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I know the light is getting bad here. It's a lot later than I had anticipated to finish this video. So I gotta get home and edit this for you guys. And if this is your first time stopping by this channel and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. Remember to follow me on Instagram as well. Always behind the scenes stuff there of what's going on before it's actually on YouTube. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.